It's great to see all of you here, and I welcome all of you to this faculty symposium on the future of libraries. My name is Colleen Cook, and I'm the dean of the library at McGill, and I'm very delighted to be able to welcome all of you to hear my colleagues talk about what obviously I care a great deal about, and that's about, about libraries and their future. The McGill Library right now is embarking or is in the middle of a feasibility study to reimagine our library system based on what library services, what, what we can gaze into the future and try to envision what library services we will have or need to have in 2050 for, um, from a user-based perspective, what our users need to discover, to teach, to learn. And so we have four wonderful speakers here today, four of my colleagues, um, the librarians and, and um, of this group kind of run in a pack, and we know one another quite well. Um, and it's really totally my pleasure to host them here at my home at McGill. Um, so I want to welcome all of you to McGill's first um, Signal Symposium on the future of libraries, and hopefully not the last. Uh, my colleagues here have over 100 years of collective knowledge and leadership expertise within the fields of librarianship and, informa and information management, including service delivery, data intensive scholarship, learning and technology, collection development, digitization, facilities management, and program planning. I am very honored to host our speakers, Larry Alford, Chief Librarian, University of Toronto Libraries, Chris Borg, Director, MIT Libraries, and I think she will have spent as much time here as, in, as at MIT uh, in this um, transition point uh, in her life from Stanford. Uh, Harriet Hamasi, my colleague from Brown, the Joukowsky Family University Librarian. Um, and uh, Clifford Lynch, the Director for the uh, Coalition for Networked Information. Thank you very much for taking the time to come speak with us today and spend some time with us in Montreal. Bienvenue à Montréal. This symposium is being live streamed and will be archived for viewing at a later date that we'll have on our website. We will be sure to feature the link to the archive copy on our main page when it becomes available. And each of our speakers will give approximately a 30-minute presentation followed by an, a 10-minute or so Q&A session. And I will ask everybody who does have a question to please go to one of the microphones um, here. We don't have a microphone that we're passing around in the audience, and, and we need to get your remarks for, um, for the streaming. Uh, remarks will be followed up uh, by a wrap-up of commentary given very generously by my provost, um, Anthony uh, Massey, who's in the back there typing away. And we've scheduled a short break in between the second and third set of remarks. Um, and the short break, speaking of that, a very important order of business for those who don't know our faculty club here. Um, the restrooms are in the cloakroom, and there are more upstairs. Uh, um, so with that, um, I once again welcome all of you, and I would like to introduce Larry Alford. <laughs> <laughs> 